what is a tinsel test? Well, a tinsel test, or you could say a tension test, is a very fundamental type of mechanical test you can perform on a material. In this experiment, we performed a tinsel test on a plastic specimen. Using the data from the tinsel test, we can create a stress strain diagram with the stress strain curve. On the x axis, we have the strain, and the y axis, the stress. The stress strain curve can show the ultimate tensile strength of the material. It also lists our fracture point and the stress at which it fractures. From the linear region of the graph, we can determine the modulus of elasticity, which describes the stiffness of the material. Overall, a stress strain diagram is a good indicator of the characteristics of the material being tested. For this tensile test, we use a Tinius Olsen H100KS tinsel tester and assorted plastic specimens. This is the basic setup of a Tinius Olsen H100K-S tinsel testing machine. So this was our setup for our tinsel test of the plastic specimens. As you can see right now, the orange plastic specimen was being tinsel tested. The specimen was clamped into place right here. Uh, for this experiment, the extensometer was not placed on the material due to the am amount that the specimen was going to stretch. For the orange specimen, the elongation was visible during the test and necking was manifest before the specimen fractured. The white specimen, however, did not display necking or elongation during the test because it was made of a brittle plastic. The stress strain curve for the orange plastic specimen shows that the specimen had an ultimate tensile strength of about 50,000 psi. The specimen fractured after about 17.5% elongation. The elongation was measured during the test, but it's interesting to note that the elongation decreased after the specimen fractured and it is no longer in tension. The stress strain curve for the white plastic specimen is somewhat incorrect in that it does not start at 0% strain. This is due to slack in the machine at the beginning of testing. However, the curve still holds true to the characteristics of the specimen. The curve shows the ultimate tensile strength of the material to be about 27,000 psi, which is significantly lower than the orange specimen. This characteristic was visible in the test and that the white specimen fractured after negligible elongation, indicating that it is a relatively brittle plastic in comparison to the orange specimen. This is a picture of the orange specimen after fracture. As you can see, the specimen experienced elongation and deformation at the fracture area. The coupon fractured in the notched area, as would be expected. The white specimen, however, did not experience such elongation and deformation and did not fracture in the notched area. This is a good indicator that the specimen was brittle.